Welcome back to Blend of a Love and Adventure. Today is Tuesday, so that means it is Sourdough Tuesday. First time that I've ever done sourdough in the new place. Like I've said in the past, you're gonna see a different scenery because we have officially moved into the rental. Um, our house actually closes today, so we no longer have the other house. This will be my scenery until we find a more permanent location. So, if you are new here, thank you for coming over. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified every single time that I post a video. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And before I even get started, I'm going to go ahead and do what I promised to do two Saturdays ago, but my life has been kind of upside down. And I'm, I, I owe this to um, the person that posted. So, um, about a week or so ago, I did a crock pot challenge just to have that support um, to get us through the last true week of in, like before we moved um, from our old house to this rental. And I did a crock pot meal every single day. And I asked if you wanted to be involved to go ahead and send me any comments with recipes or whatever, whatnot, and let me know what you did at yours. So I did have a subscriber um, leave a comment with two amazing crock pot meals. Um, without giving out any of her information, if you would like to go and see that, um, I will post a video up top and she did comment down in the, um, below with her meals and how she did it and like her recipes. So I want to give a huge thank you to her. Um, I definitely appreciate it. I will put your two meals on my March menu plan. So definitely guys, um, yeah, we're going to get back in the swing of things, but I wanted to give a big thank you to her um, for just being there and being very supportive. And for everybody that watched that video, a huge thank you as well. Even if you didn't comment, that is okay. If you want to go back and comment, go right ahead. It'll come straight to my phone and I will, in another video, put your name out there um, or at least guide people to go look at it. Um, I'll, if your name is on there or if you want me to truly leave your information, just let me know. So, what we are gonna do today for Sourdough Tuesday, it's a little different. You will notice the kitchen is a little bit smaller. So, I am using what I have to use and what I um, have unpacked. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not unpacking everything, only because it is a smaller kitchen. I don't have the opportunity nor the space to be able to do so. So. This is what we're making today, Sourdough Tuesday. I'm super excited. So this past weekend, through all the moving, my little girl asked if I would make some chocolate cupcakes. Okay, well, let me be real with you. I do not buy cake mix. I do not. If I make a box cake, it comes out very yucky. It's just nasty, and I don't know what I do, but it doesn't come out good. It's always dry and just not, I don't know. It just is not good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a sourdough chocolate cake. With that, this recipe is from Farmhouse on Boone. I will link everything That's where below. I get a lot of my sourdough recipes. So I will link the recipe and her channel below. So do not um, skip out on that. Don't overlook it. Go check her channel out, go subscribe. I'm not doing any collabs with her. I'm just giving her the credit she deserves. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and let's get this cake started. Okay, so to get started, we are gonna mix together all-purpose flour. It says coconut oil, but guys, I wasn't smart with this and I left my coconut oil on my pantry outside, so it's a little cold, so I'm gonna use regular cooking oil, and then sourdough starter and water. So you are gonna need two cups of flour, half a cup of oil, half a cup of sourdough, and one cup of water. So let's go ahead and get that started and let's do this together. Next, you are going to mix your sugar, your salt, and if you want to add coffee, if you want to add coffee, that's just going to enrich that chocolate flavor. If you don't already know that, I learned that a long time ago because I said like coffee and chocolate just makes that flavor really, really stronger, which is really yummy. I mean, it's not a bad thing. So right now we're going to mix together. Like I said, you're going to mix your 
um, two cups of sugar, that's a lot of sugar, two cups of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Um, making this work right here, making it work. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to add two eggs. Two eggs. I'm going to add some vanilla. So you're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla. Now you are going to add your cocoa powder. So you're gonna add two teaspoons, wait, you're gonna add a three quarters cups of cocoa powder. you're gonna add one cup of milk whole milk it says if you don't have whole milk you got to substitute like I did with the oil Okay, now we're gonna add baking soda. So you need to add two teaspoons of baking soda. Okay, this is the last thing that you're gonna add. So now I'm gonna go grease my pan. Um, I am using a bunk cake. Um, I don't feel like I need to explain that. I, I really don't. I, um, I mean, if I need to, I will. But let's let's be real, guys. I, I don't I don't have my other pan right now. <laughs> the fact that I even have the bunk cake pan out is because I love to bake. So um, you're gonna want to grease this. Now you can grease it and flour it. It's really all in your preference. I'm just gonna use cooking oil. I mean, cooking oil, cooking spray, and just hope for the best. Because in reality. Yeah, this is the life I'm living right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this spray. In the meantime, I'll talk to you. I'll let you know how things are going. So um, the new house is very um, different. It's not bad. Moving took a little much out of us, so I didn't film for um, a week because I had all four kids. And with kids, I, I still had to give them my undivided attention and pack us up and get everything together. So I didn't, um, I didn't film for a week. So I took a week off and I really hope you guys understand that. It's just something I need, mentally needed to do. Um, it wasn't anything personal toward anything or anybody. I just, I had to do it. Um, it was a lot, it was a lot of preparation. And with that, we got moved. <laughs> Um, we definitely got moved. It was definitely more difficult than we imagined it to be. We didn't, um, we encountered not too many hiccups. It was just more so a lot of furniture that we had more furniture than we actually thought we had. Um, so it's, it, it wasn't bad though. It, it really wasn't bad. Um, but yeah, so we're officially in the rental. I have not unboxed very much because We've only really been here for um, a short time, so I haven't taken the time to unbox very much. But with that, I unboxed enough to make this video for you guys. All right, I'm not gonna tip it, I'm not. Mm -mm. Cause that might end up somewhere it doesn't need to be. So now, preheat your oven at 350. I'm just following the steps that she's put down. I mean, in the order that she's listed it. So, just so you know that. Um, so you're gonna preheat at 350. She's using two nine by 
nine inch pans. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna do a bundt cake. And now I am gonna bake it for 30 minutes. I know I'm gonna need longer than that, but I'm gonna start at 30. So again, I don't know my oven 100%. I'll test it and then I'll let you know in between like how long it truly took me to do a bundt cake chocolate sourdough type thing. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this in my preheated 350 oven. I'm gonna start out at 30 minutes. I will check it after 30 minutes. I will come back to you guys, let you know if I needed to put it in for five more, 10 more, whatever. But at the end, I'm gonna show you how delicious this cake really is. I'm super excited and my little girl is gonna okay. love it. I'm at a very odd angle. I'm checking on the cake for the um, second time. Um, so far, we are at 55 minutes. That is what you want. I don't even know that you guys can see that. It is clear, clear, clear. That is what you want now. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself. Okay. Okay. So I flipped it out um, and I cut a piece just so you guys can see it. That looks so good. Let's taste it. Real time tasting guys. Let's see. It's very moist, but it's still warm. I love warm cake. Because if it doesn't taste good, then we did it. We, 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 we've learned together. That is good. Mmm. That is super moist. Like super moist. Y'all can see the steam coming up off of it. Oh, that is so good. Super yummy. That tastes incredible. Check, that's a staple. I see this as a birthday cake in the future. We got a couple birthdays coming up. That is so yummy. So, sourdough chocolate cake. There you go. Y'all, this is just good. This is really good. I hope you guys really enjoyed the sourdough cheese day. Hopefully you guys will make this chocolate cake. And if you do, let me know how it turns out for you. If you do it by her directions with the two nine inch pans, let me know how that turns out. Sheet cake, um, sheet cake, whatever you wanna do. Let me know if you make it and let me know what your opinion is. This is really, really good. It's very moist. It's not too rich. Um, I thought with the, the two cups of sugar, it was gonna be too powerful. like. Too, too sweet? Mm -mm. Guys, this cake is so yummy. It is so good. And I am so excited for my daughter to come home from school and try this because this is what she's been asking for. So anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed today's recipe. And I will see you guys next Tuesday with a brand new sourdough Tuesday recipe. Everybody have a blessed day.